A neutron star is the collapsed core of a giant star which before collapse had a total of between 10 and 29 solar masses. Neutron stars are the smallest and densest stars, not counting hypothetical quark stars and strange stars. Neutron stars have a radius on the order of 10 km miles and a mass between 1.4 and 2.16 solar masses. They result from the supernova explosion of a massive star, combined with gravitational collapse, that compresses the core past white dwarf star density to that of atomic nuclei. Once formed, they no longer actively generate heat, and cool over time, however, they may still evolve further through collision or accretion. Most of the basic models for these objects imply that neutron stars are composed almost entirely of neutrons subatomic particles with no net electrical charge and with slightly larger mass than protons. The electrons and protons present in normal matter combine to produce neutrons at the conditions in a neutron star. Neutron stars are supported against further collapse by neutron degeneracy pressure, a phenomenon described by the Pauli exclusion principle, just as white dwarfs are supported against collapse by electron degeneracy pressure. If the remnant star has a mass greater than about three solar masses, it continues collapsing to form a black hole. Neutron stars that can be observed are very hot and typically have a surface temperature of around 600,000 K. They are so dense that a normal-sized matchbox containing neutron star material would have a weight of approximately 3 billion tons, the same weight as a 0.5 cubic kilometer chunk of the Earth, a cube with edges of about 800 meters. Their magnetic fields are between 108 and 1015, 100 million to 1 quadrillion times as strong as that of the Earth. The gravitational field at the neutron star's surface is about 2 times 1011 200 billion times that of the Earth. As the star's core collapses, its rotation rate increases as a result of conservation of angular momentum, hence newly formed neutron stars rotate at up to several hundred times per second. Some neutron stars emit beams of electromagnetic radiation that make them detectable as pulsars. Indeed, the discovery of pulsars by Jocelyn Bell Burnell in 1967 was the first observational suggestion that neutron stars exist. The radiation from pulsars is thought to be primarily emitted from regions near their magnetic poles. If the magnetic poles do not coincide with the rotational axis of the neutron star, the emission beam will sweep the sky, and when seen from a distance, if the observer is somewhere in the path of the beam, it will appear as pulses of radiation coming from a fixed point in space the so-called lighthouse effect. The fastest spinning neutron star known is PSR J1748 2446 AD, rotating at a rate of 716 times a second or 43,000 revolutions per minute, giving a linear speed at the surface on the order of 0.24 c i.e. nearly a quarter the speed of light. There are thought to be around 100 million neutron stars in the Milky Way, a figure obtained by estimating the number of stars that have undergone supernova explosions. However, most are old and cold, and neutron stars can only be easily detected in certain instances, such as if they are a pulsar or part of a binary system. Slow rotating and non accreting neutron stars are almost undetectable, however, since the Hubble Space Telescope detection of RxJ1856353754, a few nearby neutron stars that appear to emit only thermal radiation have been detected. Soft gamma repeaters are conjectured to be a type of neutron star with very strong magnetic fields, known as magnetars, or alternatively, neutron stars with fossil disks around them. Neutron stars in binary systems can undergo accretion which typically makes the system bright in X-rays while the material falling onto the neutron star can form hotspots that rotate in and out of view in identified X-ray pulsar systems. Additionally, such accretion can recycle old pulsars and potentially cause them to gain mass and spin up to very fast rotation rates, forming the so-called millisecond pulsars. These binary systems will continue to evolve, and eventually the companions can become compact objects such as white dwarfs or neutron stars themselves, though other possibilities include a complete destruction of the companion through ablation or merger. The merger of binary neutron stars may be the source of short-duration gamma-ray bursts and are likely strong sources of gravitational waves. In 2017, a direct detection GW170817 of the gravitational waves from such an event was made, and gravitational waves have also been indirectly detected in a system where two neutron stars orbit each other. 
In October 2018, astronomers reported that GRB 150101b, a gamma-ray burst event detected in 2015, may be directly related to the historic GW170817 and associated with the merger of two neutron stars. The similarities between the two events, in terms of gamma-ray, optical and X-ray emissions, as well as to the nature of the associated host galaxies, are striking. Suggesting the two separate events may both be the result of the merger of neutron stars, and both may be a kilonova, which may be more common in the universe than previously understood, according to the researchers. Formation Any main sequence star with an initial mass of above 8 times the mass of the Sun has the potential to produce a neutron star. As the star evolves away from the main sequence, subsequent nuclear burning produces an iron-rich core. When all nuclear fuel in the core has been exhausted, the core must be supported by degeneracy pressure alone. Further deposits of mass from shell burning cause the core to exceed the Chandrasekhar limit. Electron degeneracy pressure is overcome and the core collapses further, sending temperatures soaring to over 5 times 109 K at these temperatures. Photodisintegration, the breaking up of iron nuclei into alpha particles by high energy gamma rays occurs. As the temperature climbs even higher, electrons and protons combine to form neutrons via electron capture, releasing a flood of neutrinos. When densities reach nuclear density of 4 times 1017 kg per cubic meter, neutron degeneracy pressure halts the contraction. The infalling outer envelope of the star is halted and flung outwards by a flux of neutrinos produced in the creation of the neutrons, becoming a supernova. The remnant left is a neutron star. If the remnant has a mass greater than about 3 m, it collapses further to become a black hole, as the core of a massive star is compressed during a type II supernova, type IB or type IC supernova, and collapses into a neutron star, it retains most of its angular momentum. But, because it has only a tiny fraction of its parent's radius and therefore its moment of inertia is sharply reduced, a neutron star is formed with very high rotation speed, and then over a very long period it slows. Neutron stars are known that have rotation periods from about 1.4 milliseconds to 30 s. The neutron star's density also gives it very high surface gravity, with typical values ranging from 1012 to 1013 meters per square second more than 1011 times that of Earth. One measure of such immense gravity is the fact that neutron stars have an escape velocity ranging from 100,000 km per second to 150,000 km per second, that is, from a third to half the speed of light. The neutron star's gravity accelerates infalling matter to tremendous speed. The force of its impact would likely destroy the object's component atoms, rendering all the matter identical, in most respects, to the rest of the neutron star. Properties Mass and temperature A neutron star has a mass of at least 1.1 and perhaps up to 3 solar masses The maximum observed mass of neutron stars is about 2.01 m. But in general, compact stars of less than 1.39 m the Chandrasekhar limit are white dwarfs, whereas compact stars with a mass between 1.4 m and 3 m the Talman-Oppenheimer-Volkoff limit should be neutron stars though there is an interval of a few tenths of a solar mass where the masses of low-mass neutron stars and high-mass white dwarfs can overlap. Between 3 m and 5 m, hypothetical intermediate mass stars such as quark stars and electroweak stars have been proposed, but none have been shown to exist. Beyond 10 m the stellar remnant will overcome the neutron degeneracy pressure and gravitational collapse will usually occur to produce a black hole, though the smallest observed mass of a stellar black hole is about 5 m. The temperature inside a newly formed neutron star is from around 1011 to 1012 Kelvin. However, the huge number of neutrinos it emits carry away so much energy that the temperature of an isolated neutron star falls within a few years to around 106 Kelvin. At this lower temperature, most of the light generated by a neutron star is in X-rays. <laughs> <laughs> Density and pressure 
Neutron stars have overall densities of 3.7 times 1017 to 5.9 times 1017 kg per cubic meter, 2.6 times 1014 to 4.1 times 1014 times the density of the Sun, which is comparable to the approximate density of an atomic nucleus of 3 times 1017 kg per cubic meter. The neutron star's density varies from about 1 times 109 kg per cubic meter in the crust increasing with depth to about 6 times 1017 or 8 times 1017 kg per cubic meter denser than an atomic nucleus deeper inside a neutron star is so dense that 1 teaspoon 5 milliliters of its material would have a mass over 5.5 times 1012 kg about 900 times the mass of the great pyramid of giza in the enormous gravitational field of a neutron star, its weight would be 1.1 times 1025 n, which is about 15 times the weight of the Moon. The pressure increases from 3.2 times 1031 to 1 1.6 times 1034 pascals from the inner crust to the center. The equation of state of matter at such high densities is not precisely known because of the theoretical difficulties associated with extrapolating the likely behavior of quantum chromodynamics, superconductivity, and superfluidity of matter in such states, along with the empirical difficulties of observing the characteristics of neutron stars that are at least hundreds of parsecs away. A neutron star has some of the properties of an atomic nucleus, including density within an order of magnitude and being composed of nucleons. In popular scientific writing, neutron stars are therefore sometimes described as giant nuclei. However, in other respects, neutron stars and atomic nuclei are quite different. A nucleus is held together by the strong interaction, whereas a neutron star is held together by gravity. The density of a nucleus is uniform, while neutron stars are predicted to consist of multiple layers with varying compositions and densities. Magnetic field The magnetic field strength on the surface of neutron stars ranges from c. 104 to 1011 tesla. These are orders of magnitude higher than in any other object. For comparison, a continuous 16T field has been achieved in the laboratory and is sufficient to levitate a living frog due to diamagnetic levitation. Variations in magnetic field strengths are most likely the main factor that allows different types of neutron stars to be distinguished by their spectra, and explains the periodicity of pulsars. The neutron stars known as magnetars have the strongest magnetic fields, in the range of 108 to 1011 Tesla, and have become the widely accepted hypothesis for neutron star types soft gamma repeaters SGRs and anomalous X-ray pulsars AXPs. The magnetic energy density of a 108 T field is extreme, exceeding the mass energy density of ordinary matter. Fields of this strength are able to polarize the vacuum to the point that the vacuum becomes birefringent. Photons can merge or split in two, and virtual particle antiparticle pairs are produced. The field changes electron energy levels and atoms are forced into thin cylinders. Unlike in an ordinary pulsar, magnetar spin down can be directly powered by its magnetic field, and the magnetic field is strong enough to stress the crust to the point of fracture. Fractures of the crust cause starquakes, observed as extremely luminous millisecond hard gamma ray bursts. The fireball is trapped by the magnetic field, and comes in and out of view when the star rotates, which is observed as a periodic soft gamma repeater SGR emission with a period of 5 to 8 seconds and which lasts for a few minutes. The origins of the strong magnetic field are as yet unclear. One hypothesis is that of flux freezing, or conservation of the original magnetic flux during the formation of the neutron star. If an object has a certain magnetic flux over its surface area, and that area shrinks to a smaller area, but the magnetic flux is conserved, then the magnetic field would correspondingly increase. Likewise, a collapsing star begins with a much larger surface area than the resulting neutron star, and conservation of magnetic flux would result in a far stronger magnetic field. However, this simple explanation does not fully explain magnetic field strengths of neutron stars. Gravity and equation of state The gravitational field at a neutron star's surface is about 2 times 1011 times stronger than on Earth, at around 2.0 times 1012 m per square second. 
Such a strong gravitational field acts as a gravitational lens and bends the radiation emitted by the neutron star such that parts of the normally invisible rear surface become visible. If the radius of the neutron star is 3 gm, c2 or less, then the photons may be trapped in an orbit, thus making the whole surface of that neutron star visible from a single vantage point, along with destabilizing photon orbits at or below the one radius distance of the star. A fraction of the mass of a star that collapses to form a neutron star is released in the supernova explosion from which it forms from the law of mass energy equivalence, E equals mc2. The energy comes from the gravitational binding energy of a neutron star. Hence, the gravitational force of a typical neutron star is huge. If an object were to fall from a height of 1 meter on a neutron star 12 km in radius, it would reach the ground at around 1,400 km per second. However, even before impact, the tidal force would cause spaghettification, breaking any sort of an ordinary object into a stream of material. Because of the enormous gravity, time dilation between a neutron star and Earth is significant. For example, eight years could pass on the surface of a neutron star, yet ten years would have passed on Earth, not including the time dilation effect of its very rapid rotation. Neutron star relativistic equations of state describe the relation of radius versus mass for various models. The most likely radii for a given neutron star mass are bracketed by models A p4 smallest radius and M s2 largest radius. B is the ratio of gravitational binding energy mass equivalent to the observed neutron star gravitational mass of m kilograms with radius r meters. B e equals 0 0.60 beta 1 minus Beta two display style b equals frac 0.60 beta one frac beta two beta equals g m r c two display style beta equals g m r c caret two given current values g equals Six sixty seven thousand four hundred eight times ten minus eleven M three kilogram minus one S minus two Display style g equals 6.67408 times 10 carat minus 11 text m carat 3 text kilogram carat minus 1 text s carat minus 2 c equals 2.99792458 times 10 8 m s Display style c equals 2.99792458 times 10 carat 8 text m text s m equals 1.98855 times 10 30 kilogram display style m underscore o dot equals 1 98,855 times 10 carat 30 text kilogram and star masses m commonly reported as multiples of one solar mass m x equals m m display style m underscore x equals frac m m underscore o dot then the relativistic fractional binding energy of a neutron star is b e equals 886.0 m x r in meters minus 738.3 m x display style b equals frac 886.0 m underscore x r underscore left text in meters right minus 738.3 m underscore x a 2m neutron star would not be more compact than 10,970 m radius AP4 model. Its mass fraction gravitational binding energy would then be 0.187, minus 18.7% exothermic. 
This is not near 0.6, 2 equals 0.3, minus 30%. The equation of state for a neutron star is not yet known. It is assumed that it differs significantly from that of a white dwarf, whose equation of state is that of a degenerate gas that can be described in close agreement with special relativity. However, with a neutron star the increased effects of general relativity can no longer be ignored. Several equations of state have been proposed FPS, UU, APR, L, SLI, and others and current research is still attempting to constrain the theories to make predictions of neutron star matter. This means that the relation between density and mass is not fully known, and this causes uncertainties in radius estimates. For example, a 1.5 m neutron star could have a radius of 10.7, 11.1, 12.1 or 15.1 km for EOS FPS, UU, APR or L respectively. Topic structure Current understanding of the structure of neutron stars is defined by existing mathematical models, but it might be possible to infer some details through studies of neutron star oscillations. Asteroseismology, a study applied to ordinary stars, can reveal the inner structure of neutron stars by analyzing observed spectra of stellar oscillations. Current models indicate that matter at the surface of a neutron star is composed of ordinary atomic nuclei crushed into a solid lattice with a sea of electrons flowing through the gaps between them. It is possible that the nuclei at the surface are iron, due to iron's high binding energy per nucleon. It is also possible that heavy elements, such as iron, simply sink beneath the surface, leaving only light nuclei like helium and hydrogen. If the surface temperature exceeds 106 Kelvin as in the case of a young pulsar, the surface should be fluid instead of the solid phase that might exist in cooler neutron stars temperature atmosphere of a neutron star is hypothesized to be at most several micrometers thick, and its dynamics are fully controlled by the neutron star's magnetic field. Below the atmosphere one encounters a solid crust. This crust is extremely hard and very smooth with maximum surface irregularities of approximately 5 mm. Due to the extreme gravitational field, proceeding inward, one encounters nuclei with ever-increasing numbers of neutrons. Such nuclei would decay quickly on Earth, but are kept stable by tremendous pressures. As this process continues at increasing depths, the neutron drip becomes overwhelming, and the concentration of free neutrons increases rapidly. In that region, there are nuclei, free electrons, and free neutrons. The nuclei become increasingly small gravity and pressure overwhelming the strong force until the core is reached, by definition the point where mostly neutrons exist. The expected hierarchy of phases of nuclear matter in the inner crust has been characterized as nuclear pasta, with fewer voids and larger structures towards higher pressures. The composition of the superdense matter in the core remains uncertain. One model describes the core as superfluid neutron degenerate matter mostly neutrons, with some protons and electrons. More exotic forms of matter are possible, including degenerate strange matter containing strange quarks in addition to up and down quarks, matter containing high-energy pions and kaons in addition to neutrons, or ultra-dense quark degenerate matter. Radiation. Pulsars Neutron stars are detected from their electromagnetic radiation. Neutron stars are usually observed to pulse radio waves and other electromagnetic radiation, and neutron stars observed with pulses are called pulsars. Pulsars radiation is thought to be caused by particle acceleration near their magnetic poles, which need not be aligned with the rotational axis of the neutron star. It is thought that a large electrostatic field builds up near the magnetic poles, leading to electron emission. These electrons are magnetically accelerated along the field lines, leading to curvature radiation, with the radiation being strongly polarized towards the plane of curvature. In addition, high-energy photons can interact with lower-energy photons and the magnetic field for electron-positron pair production, which through electron-positron annihilation leads to further high-energy photons. The radiation emanating from the magnetic poles of neutron stars can be described as magnetospheric radiation, in reference to the magnetosphere of the neutron star. 
It is not to be confused with magnetic dipole radiation, which is emitted because the magnetic axis is not aligned with the rotational axis, with a radiation frequency the same as the neutron star's rotational frequency. If the axis of rotation of the neutron star is different to the magnetic axis, external viewers will only see these beams of radiation whenever the magnetic axis point towards them during the neutron star rotation. Therefore, periodic pulses are observed, at the same rate as the rotation of the neutron star. Non-pulsating neutron stars In addition to pulsars, neutron stars have also been identified with no apparent periodicity of their radiation. This seems to be a characteristic of the X-ray sources known as central compact objects in supernova remnants CCOs in SNRs, which are thought to be young, radio-quiet isolated neutron stars. Topic. Spectra In addition to radio emissions, neutron stars have also been identified in other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. This includes visible light, near-infrared, ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays. Pulsars observed in X-rays are known as X-ray pulsars if accretion-powered, while those identified in visible light as optical pulsars. The majority of neutron stars detected, including those identified in optical, X ray, and gamma rays, also emit radio waves. The Crab pulsar produces electromagnetic emissions across the spectrum. However, there exist neutron stars called radio quiet neutron stars, with no radio emissions detected. <laughs> Rotation Neutron stars rotate extremely rapidly after their formation due to the conservation of angular momentum, like spinning ice skaters pulling in their arms, the slow rotation of the original star's core speeds up as it shrinks. A newborn neutron star can rotate many times a second. <laughs> Spin down Over time, neutron stars slow, as their rotating magnetic fields in effect radiate energy associated with the rotation. Older neutron stars may take several seconds for each revolution. This is called spin down. The rate at which a neutron star slows its rotation is usually constant and very small. The periodic time p is the rotational period, the time for one rotation of a neutron star. The spin down rate, the rate of slowing of rotation, is then given the symbol. P display style dot P P dot the negative derivative of P with respect to time it is defined as periodic time decrease per unit time it is a dimensionless quantity but can be given the units of SS minus 1 seconds per second the spin down rate P dot of neutron stars usually falls within the range of 10 minus 22 to 10 minus 9 SS minus 1 with the shorter period or faster rotating observable neutron stars usually having smaller P dot however as a neutron star ages the neutron star slows P increases and the rate of slowing decreases P dot decreases Eventually, the rate of rotation becomes too slow to power the radio emission mechanism, and the neutron star can no longer be detected. P and P dot allow minimum magnetic fields of neutron stars to be estimated. P and P dot can be also used to calculate the characteristic age of a pulsar, but gives an estimate which is somewhat larger than the true age when it is applied to young pulsars. P and P dot can also be combined with neutron stars' moment of inertia to estimate a quantity called spin down luminosity, which is given the symbol E. E dot E. E dot. It is not the measured luminosity, but rather the calculated loss rate of rotational energy that would manifest itself as radiation. For neutron stars where the spin-down luminosity is comparable to the actual luminosity, the neutron stars are said to be rotation-powered. The observed luminosity of the Crab pulsar is comparable to the spin-down luminosity, supporting the model that rotational kinetic energy powers the radiation from it. With neutron stars such as magnetars, where the actual luminosity exceeds the spin-down luminosity by about a factor of 100, it is assumed that the luminosity is powered by magnetic dissipation, rather than being rotation-powered. P and P dot can also be plotted for neutron stars to create a PP dot diagram. 
It encodes a tremendous amount of information about the pulsar population and its properties, and has been likened to the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram in its importance for neutron stars. Spin-up Neutron star rotational speeds can increase, a process known as spin-up. Sometimes neutron stars absorb orbiting matter from companion stars, increasing the rotation rate and reshaping the neutron star into an oblate spheroid. This causes an increase in the rate of rotation of the neutron star of over a hundred times per second in the case of millisecond pulsars. The most rapidly rotating neutron star currently known, PSR J1748244 AD, rotates at 716 revolutions per second. A 2007 paper reported the detection of an X-ray burst oscillation, which provides an indirect measure of spin, of 1,122 Hz from the neutron star XTEJ1739285, suggesting 1122 rotations a second. However, at present, this signal has only been seen once, and should be regarded as tentative until confirmed in another burst from that star. Topic. Glitches and starquakes Sometimes a neutron star will undergo a glitch, a sudden small increase of its rotational speed or spin-up. Glitches are thought to be the effect of a starquake. As the rotation of the neutron star slows, its shape becomes more spherical. Due to the stiffness of the neutron crust, this happens as discrete events when the crust ruptures, creating a starquake similar to earthquakes. After the starquake, the star will have a smaller equatorial radius, and because angular momentum is conserved, its rotational speed has increased. Starquakes occurring in magnetars, with a resulting glitch, is the leading hypothesis for the gamma ray sources known as soft gamma repeaters. Recent work, however, suggests that a starquake would not release sufficient energy for a neutron star glitch. It has been suggested that glitches may instead be caused by transitions of vortices in the theoretical superfluid core of the neutron star from one metastable energy state to a lower one, thereby releasing energy that appears as an increase in the rotation rate. Topic: Anti-glitches. An anti-glitch, a sudden small decrease in rotational speed or spin down of a neutron star, has also been reported. It occurred in a magnetar that, in one case, produced an X-ray luminosity increase of a factor of 20 and a significant spin down rate change. Current neutron star models do not predict this behavior. If the cause was internal, it suggests differential rotation of solid outer crust and the superfluid component of the magnetar's inner structure. <laughs> Population and distances At present, there are about 2,000 known neutron stars in the Milky Way and the Magellanic Clouds, the majority of which have been detected as radio pulsars. Neutron stars are mostly concentrated along the disk of the Milky Way although the spread perpendicular to the disk is large because the supernova explosion process can impart high translational speeds 400 km per second to the newly formed neutron star. Some of the closest known neutron stars are RxJ 1856.5-3754, which is about 400 light-years from Earth, and PSR J0108-1431 at about 424 light-years. RxJ 1856.5-3754 is a member of a close group of neutron stars called the Magnificent Seven. Another nearby neutron star that was detected transiting the backdrop of the constellation Ursa Minor has been nicknamed Calvera by its Canadian and American discoverers, after the villain in the 1960 film The Magnificent Seven. This rapidly moving object was discovered using the ROSAT, Bright Source Catalog. <laughs> Binary neutron star systems About 5% of all known neutron stars are members of a binary system. The formation and evolution of binary neutron stars can be a complex process. Neutron stars have been observed in binaries with ordinary main-sequence stars, red giants, white dwarfs or other neutron stars. 
According to modern theories of binary evolution it is expected that neutron stars also exist in binary systems with black hole companions. The merger of binaries containing two neutron stars, or a neutron star and a black hole, are expected to be prime sources for the emission of detectable gravitational waves. X-ray binaries Binary systems containing neutron stars often emit X-rays, which are emitted by hot gas as it falls towards the surface of the neutron star. The source of the gas is the companion star, the outer layers of which can be stripped off by the gravitational force of the neutron star if the two stars are sufficiently close. As the neutron star accretes this gas its mass can increase, if enough mass is accreted the neutron star may collapse into a black hole. Neutron star binary mergers and nucleosynthesis Binaries containing two neutron stars are observed to shrink as gravitational waves are emitted. Ultimately the neutron stars will come into contact and coalesce. The coalescence of binary neutron stars is one of the leading models for the origin of short gamma ray bursts. Strong evidence for this model came from the observation of a kilonova associated with the short-duration gamma-ray burst GRB130603 b, and finally confirmed by detection of gravitational wave GW170817 and short GRB170817 a by LIGO, Virgo and 70 observatories covering the electromagnetic spectrum observed the event. The light emitted in the kilonova is believed to come from the radioactive decay of material ejected in the merger of the two neutron stars. This material may be responsible for the production of many of the chemical elements beyond iron, as opposed to the supernova nucleosynthesis theory. <laughs> Planets Neutron stars can host exoplanets. These can be original, circumbinary, captured, or the result of a second round of planet formation. Pulsars can also strip the atmosphere off from a star, leaving a planetary mass remnant, which may be understood as a Chthonian planet or a stellar object depending on interpretation. For pulsars, such pulsar planets can be detected with the pulsar timing method, which allows for high precision and detection of much smaller planets than with other methods. Two systems have been definitively confirmed. The first exoplanets ever to be detected were the three planets Draugr, Poltergeist and Phobitor around PSR B1257 plus 12, discovered in 1992-1994. Of these, Draugr is the smallest exoplanet ever detected, at a mass of twice that of the Moon. Another system is PSR B1620-26, where a circumbinary planet orbits a neutron star white dwarf binary system. Also, there are several unconfirmed candidates. Pulsar planets receive little visible light, but massive amounts of ionizing radiation and high-energy stellar wind, which makes them rather hostile environments. <laughs> History of discoveries At the meeting of the American Physical Society in December 1933 the proceedings were published in January 1934, Walter Bodd and Fritz Zwicky proposed the existence of neutron stars, less than two years after the discovery of the neutron by Sir James Chadwick. In seeking an explanation for the origin of a supernova, they tentatively proposed that in supernova explosions ordinary stars are turned into stars that consist of extremely closely packed neutrons that they called neutron stars. Bod and Zwicky correctly proposed at that time that the release of the gravitational binding energy of the neutron stars powers the supernova. In the supernova process, mass in bulk is annihilated. Neutron stars were thought to be too faint to be detectable and little work was done on them until November 1967, when Franco Pacini pointed out that if the neutron stars were spinning and had large magnetic fields, then electromagnetic waves would be emitted. Unbeknown to him, radio astronomer Anthony Hewish and his research assistant Jocelyn Bell at Cambridge were shortly to detect radio pulses from stars that are now believed to be highly magnetized, rapidly spinning neutron stars, known as pulsars. In 1965, Anthony Hewish and Samuel Okoy discovered an unusual source of high radio brightness temperature in the Crab Nebula. 
This source turned out to be the crab pulsar that resulted from the great supernova of 1054. In 1967, Iosif Sklovsky examined the X-ray and optical observations of Scorpius X1 and correctly concluded that the radiation comes from a neutron star at the stage of accretion. In 1967, Jocelyn Bell Burnell and Anthony Hewish discovered regular radio pulses from PSR B1919 plus 21. This pulsar was later interpreted as an isolated, rotating neutron star. The energy source of the pulsar is the rotational energy of the neutron star. The majority of known neutron stars about 2000, as of 2010, have been discovered as pulsars, emitting regular radio pulses. In 1971, Ricardo Giacconi, Herbert Gursky, Ed Kellogg, R. Levinson, E. Schreier, and H. Tannenbaum discovered 4.8 second pulsations in an X-ray source in the constellation Centaurus, CENX3. They interpreted this as resulting from a rotating hot neutron star. The energy source is gravitational and results from a rain of gas falling onto the surface of the neutron star from a companion star or the interstellar medium. In 1974, Anthony Hewish was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his decisive role in the discovery of pulsars. Without Jocelyn Bell who shared in the discovery, in 1974, Joseph Taylor and Russell Hulse discovered the first binary pulsar, PSR B1913 plus 16, which consists of two neutron stars one seen as a pulsar orbiting around their center of mass. Einstein's general theory of relativity predicts that massive objects in short binary orbits should emit gravitational waves, and thus that their orbit should decay with time. This was indeed observed, precisely as general relativity predicts, and in 1993, Taylor and Hulse were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for this discovery. In 1982, Don Backer and colleagues discovered the first millisecond pulsar, PSR B1937 plus 21. This object spins 642 times per second, a value that placed fundamental constraints on the mass and radius of neutron stars. Many millisecond pulsars were later discovered, but PSR B1937 plus 21 remained the fastest spinning known pulsar for 24 years, until PSR J1748-2446 AD which spins more than 700 times a second was discovered. In 2003, Marta Berge and colleagues discovered the first double neutron star system where both components are detectable as pulsars, PSR J07373039. The discovery of this system allows a total of five different tests of general relativity, some of these with unprecedented precision. In 2010, Paul Demarest and colleagues measured the mass of the millisecond pulsar PSR J1614230 to be 1.97 plus or minus 0.04 m, using Shapiro delay. This was substantially higher than any previously measured neutron star mass 1.67 m, see PSR J1903 plus 0327, and places strong constraints on the interior composition of neutron stars. In 2013, John Antoniadis and colleagues measured the mass of PSR J0348 plus 0432 to be 2.01 plus or minus 0.04 m, using white dwarf spectroscopy. This confirmed the existence of such massive stars using a different method. Furthermore, this allowed, for the first time, a test of general relativity using such a massive neutron star. In August 2017, LIGO and Virgo made first detection of gravitational waves produced by colliding neutron stars. In October 2018, astronomers reported that GRB 150101b, a gamma ray burst event detected in 2015, may be directly related to the historic GW170817 and associated with the merger of two neutron stars. The similarities between the two events, in terms of gamma ray, optical and X-ray emissions, as well as to the nature of the associated host galaxies, are striking, suggesting the two separate events may both be the result of the merger of neutron stars, and both may be a kilonova, which may be more common in the universe than previously understood, according to the researchers. Topic: <laughs> Subtypes table. Neutron star Isolated neutron star INS, not in a binary system. Rotation-powered pulsar RPP or radio pulsar 
Neutron stars that emit directed pulses of radiation towards us at regular intervals due to their strong magnetic fields. Rotating radio transient RRATs, are thought to be pulsars which emit more sporadically and or with higher pulse-to-pulse -pulse variability than the bulk of the known pulsars. Magnetar, a neutron star with an extremely strong magnetic field 1,000 times more than a regular neutron star, and long rotation periods 5 to 12 seconds. Soft gamma repeater SGR. Anomalous X-ray pulsar AXP. Radio quiet neutron stars. X-ray dim isolated neutron stars. Central compact objects in supernova remnants CCOs in SNRs, young, radio quiet non-pulsating X-ray sources, thought to be isolated neutron stars surrounded by supernova remnants. X-ray pulsars or accretion-powered pulsars, a class of X-ray binaries. Low-mass X-ray binary pulsars, a class of low-mass X-ray binaries LMXB, a pulsar with a main sequence star, white dwarf or red giant. Millisecond pulsar MSP, recycled pulsar. Sub-millisecond pulsar. X-ray burster, a neutron star with a low-mass binary companion from which matter is accreted resulting in irregular bursts of energy from the surface of the neutron star. Intermediate mass X-ray binary pulsars, a class of intermediate mass X-ray binaries IMXB, a pulsar with an intermediate mass star. High mass X-ray binary pulsars, a class of high mass X-ray binaries HMXB, a pulsar with a massive star. Binary pulsars, a pulsar with a binary companion, often a white dwarf or neutron star. Theorized compact stars with similar properties. Protoneutron star PNS, theorized. Exotic star Quark star, currently a hypothetical type of neutron star composed of quark matter, or strange matter. As of 2018, there are three candidates. Electroweak star, currently a hypothetical type of extremely heavy neutron star, in which the quarks are converted to leptons through the electroweak force, but the gravitational collapse of the neutron star is prevented by radiation pressure. As of 2018, there is no evidence for their existence. Prion star, currently a hypothetical type of neutron star composed of prion matter. As of 2018, there is no evidence for the existence of prions. Examples of neutron stars RxJ0806.4-4123 neutron star source of infrared radiation. PSRJ0108-1431 closest neutron star. LGM1 the first recognized radio pulsar. PSR B1257 plus 12 the first neutron star discovered with planets a millisecond pulsar. Swift J1756.9-2508 a millisecond pulsar with a stellar type companion with planetary range mass below brown dwarf. PSR B1509-58 source of the hand of god photo shot by the Chandra X-ray observatory. PSR J0348 plus 0432 the most massive neutron star with a well constrained mass 2.01 plus or minus 0.04 m Topic gallery Topic video animation Topic. See also Dragon's egg Neutronium Prion degenerate matter Rotating radio transient Notes <laughs>